Hello there, this is a tutorial for the Procedural Stitches 2.0 because with the first uh, first version we got a lot of questions uh, about how to use it, for example when you animate something or when you want to use it with a vertex group or maybe when you want to bake something and that is all in this new version so there's a lot of new features with this version 2 so if you open the file this is what you see so again, you have the sphere with the stitches on top. Uh, this one is the one that is in version one. Uh, these other versions were also uh, available, but they were in separate files and were still a bit messy. And now they have all been cleaned up. So if we go into uh, this, the curve one, we go to the stitch. Here we see it's the stitch curve and we can still draw on the sphere or any object that you need and draw stitches so that was a very easy way to do it uh, you did it by clicking the draw and then uh, clicking surface and then also with the stitch in the parameters you had to choose the leather ball as object and with this new version we can use a vertex group so as you can see here, uh, the stitches are exactly on the vertices or the ed edges actually. So it is determined by this vertex group. Like the parameters, they read that vertex group. So you have to put in the name of that vertex group here. And then, for example, I can make a new vertex group. Call this. Uh, Let's see, we for example select here, maybe a square, and then assign, then we need to give this a name, well it's not naming at the moment, but if we call here group, you see that it takes that vertex group as a stitch and then still you can change the stitch kind and rotations anything you need so also just selecting edge loops and assigning them will create a stitch so this way you can really easily create stitches on your model um, what you can also do is which is built in the parameters because when you want to bake this, like these lines and the holes, they actually have alpha channels, alpha maps, and they don't bake really well. So you can change the alpha solid for baking to one, and then it creates a solid line without any alphas. And this way uh, it's easier for baking. Also, uh, maybe you can uh, select in your bake Select this color and uh, make it a little bit more subtle because this doesn't look too realistic, but it is very useful for when you want to bake. And here what we have is a way to animate the stitches. Also got a lot of questions about that one. So if we go into the geometry nodes, here I have a small animation and if I play it, you see that the fabric, the leather cloth, is mo moving, it's animated. And you see also that the stitch on top is animated correctly, without any jittering. And how that is done, if we go into here and zoom in a little bit, the stitch has been converted to a mesh. And this way uh, you can use a surface deform on it and then select the leather plane which is animated and then it is bound and then when you press play you can also make a simulation and let uh, fabric fall with your stitch on it and then it should uh, translate correctly like here is the curve that I used I draw on the curve so if I turn off this modifier the animation you see that I have drawn onto the plane 
And then when I've done that, I have, uh, if you select here the stitch curve, and to select, we can go into object and then convert, convert to mesh. And if you do that, then this is what you get, the converted mesh. And if you have the converted mesh, you can go into modifier, surface deform. This is not bound then, so you have to click the plane, bind. And if we then go back into the leather and make it animate, you see that it animates correctly. Like you can also do the animation with the curve, but then uh, the stitches will try to find the correct normal also between phases and then it will be jittery. So that's why I recommend if you animate it or simulate it to convert it first and then use a surface day form. So these are the things that are in version 2.0 and I hope it's even more useful for you now. <laughs>